U.S. officials have confirmed to ABC News that another high-altitude object was shot down Sunday afternoon, this time over Lake Huron, the debris landing in Canadian waters. F-16s from the Wisconsin Air National Guard shot it down. The Pentagon saying tonight they've been keeping a closer watch on American airspace since the discovery of that Chinese spy balloon earlier this month. Because we have not yet been able to definitively assess what these recent objects are, we have acted out of an abundance of caution to protect our security and interests. Today's incident comes one day after another unidentified object was shot down on Saturday, according to officials. This one over the Yukon in Canada. The object first detected Friday night, Canadian and U.S. planes scrambling to scope it out. President Biden speaking to Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, giving the green light for a U.S. F-22 fighter jet to take the shot. I also spoke with President Biden and confirmed um, together that we will continue to do everything necessary uh, to protect the sovereignty of our air, of our shared North American airspace. Saturday's incident comes just one day after a U.S. fighter jet shot down a similar object over Alaska. It also comes on the heels of the U.S. shooting down a suspected Chinese spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina on February 4th after it transversed the United States. Shooting the balloon down in the Atlantic once it flew over all the military bases, including my own Fort Campbell, Kentucky, it's very disturbing. I'm glad this administration's taking it uh, more seriously with respect to the balloons, but we've got a whole lot bigger problem with China than the spy balloon. But Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer defended the Biden administration's handling of the situation. We're going to probably be able to piece together this whole, whole uh, surveillance balloon and know exactly what's going on. So that's a huge coup for the United this program. States. Schumer says the U.S. gained intelligence information from surveilling that balloon. Elwin Lopez, ABC News, Atlanta.